guys, welcome back. So uh, today we thought we would touch upon uh, a, a subject that we introduced uh, a good few months mm -hmm. ago and we want to reintroduce it because there has been a lot of questions on it and that's on the Super Speed Golf Progress. Yes. So Mark Zacchino, a great friend of ours, was, uh, was doing the test with us mm. um, and unfortunately just Mark's work schedule, you've probably heard him on PJ Tour Radio, yeah, he's, he's a busy guy travelling the tour all the time. So we've, we've not been able to kind of, you know, get Mark in here as regular as we would like, and, and that's that's kind of more due to you know conflicting schedules yeah. than anything else. We we hope he's still doing the the super speed golf drills that we we know he has the kit. So, um, but we want to be able to give uh, sure. regular updates in terms of you know how this stuff is is working as a progression. So we have a new guinea pig, myself. Yes. So um, I'm going to do it. Um, so we've done some base light testing today. Mm. Um, I would probably say that I'd be an ideal candidate for this type of thing in that if something came up like this, something came on the market, 100% I would be, I'd be, be always looking to try and get a little bit, a uh, little bit more swing speed, a little bit more distance, um, and that would really help my game. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're not slow by any means, you're about 110 average, yeah. is what we clocked about in today. About 110 average, and that's, you know, that's way quicker than uh, I was telling Matt, you know, way quicker than I used to be. Mm. Um, so, you know, I, I, I definitely have increased some swing speed over right. the last three or four years. But um, for me, a goal was to try and get my ball speed up to the 170 right. uh, mark, which is kind of, you know, the, the baseline for, for PGA Tour players now, are at least 170. The good, the top guys are, are 180 plus now. Ball speeds, yeah. Yeah, we saw that at the PGA Championship there. Mm. You know, almost every drive clocked was, was 180 yeah. something. Smashing it. Yeah, and, you know, kept because, you know, down 18, he's 186, you know, so it's, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Um, really, really quick. So um, we thought we would sort of reintroduce this topic, um, but we also thought we would uh, kind of have a slightly different uh, take on it. We want yeah. you guys to do it with us. Absolutely. So, so for, for the people out there who, who own uh, a set of super speed golf sticks, um, you know, we, by all means, we, we would love to, to do it with you guys over the next 12 weeks. And if you don't have a set, um, We'll link the video below, the full video that where we explained how it works and everything like that. Right. We won't bore you with that again, but uh -huh. we have a very comprehensive video, so check that out. Yeah. Um, learn more about the program, and if you want to join in, I think it'll be worth the investment for um, sure to pick up a set, because I mean that's got to be the biggest question that you get mm -hmm. and other pros that that do lessons. Mm -hmm. How do I hit the ball further? Yeah. And it's. You know, as long as I've been involved in golf, I don't think there's been a realistic way yeah. that people can increase their swing speed without, you know, a ton of, I guess, you know, swing changes mm -hmm. and things like that. People will try to address it with fitness, but this system is really more teaching you how to actually swing fast. It's, it's yeah, I think that's exactly it. And if you're actually going to dig in into the, the sort of, uh, the, the biomechanics behind mm. it, the, the actual mechanism that allows you to swing, you know, faster, it, it's way more than just you know, lighter clubs working towards heavier clubs. Yeah. The, the uh, protocols have, have certain sort of um, tasks that make you activate certain parts of your body that will increase your, you know, your speed through your kinematic sequence. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the three clubs themselves are 20% lighter than an average driver, 10% mm. lighter than an average driver, and 5% heavier. Um, so what that does is it allows you to get the feel for swinging obviously faster with the lighter clubs and then obviously building up the, the kind of strength with the, with the slightly heavier clubs. To get clubs. you back to where the weight of your driver would exactly. be. Exactly, right. so you can, with the heaviest uh, one, you can get a feel for what that would be. So, mm. um, you know, we, we weighed out the progressions and, and we saw exactly that. So um, we, we think this will be something that will really help you guys uh, a ton. Yeah. So we've done a little baseline testing on, on my own driver, yeah, like we said. Um, so this is going to be my kind of start of the 12 weeks where we're going to work off of these numbers and it's right where we, we normally see them. Uh, 159 average ball speed, average club speed was 110. Um, not, not overlooking, you know, my numbers are fairly optimized right now. 13 launch and 2300 yeah. spin, it's kind of where I need it Your to be. Your driver's a good fit, which is obviously yeah, no surprise, be. but yeah, it should, should be. be. Um, so, so right now I've got enough, enough carry distance, enough total distance, but I'd like to get that ball speed up yeah. a little bit higher uh, and, and 170 is the, is the goal. That would be really cool. So good. the plan is, I think we'll give, obviously, some people will have a set, some people won't. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably start next week. Yep. You're going to start next week we um, with the training program. Runs for 12 weeks. Yep. So we'll kind of be posting 
probably little updates. You'll see it more on our Patreon community mm -hmm. than anything else, but we'll post little updates uh, on how you're doing on, uh, on our little community page on, yeah. on YouTube as well. Um, and we'll probably check in, what, halfway to see how your speed's doing? Is that how? I mean, probably every, every uh, four weeks. Four so weeks. We'll probably check in, you know, after the, the, this, the protocols are broken down into three segments. Right. So we'll check in after the first four weeks, then the next four weeks, and gotcha. then the next four weeks, and then we'll, we'll kind of take a look at it at the end. And, and uh, hopefully by, by that point, mm. you know, we've seen a, a nice jump um, and, and we'll be up around that 170 mark. I, nice. You know, I think it's, for someone like myself, I think it's pretty doable. I think everyone has a much higher um, window of swing speed than they allow themselves to swing yeah, at. Yeah, for sure. So many people I see swing with too much within themselves and they almost lock themselves up in a, in a straight jacket. They're so so afraid to kind of really let loose. Let one go. When in actual fact, when you let loose, uh, the result is often better than the one when you're tense and, yep. and uh, sort of a little apprehensive. Yeah. So I think this is going to help a lot of people out there. Uh, I really do. And Absolutely. I think it's, it's going to you know, gain a few more yards, which is always good. Yeah, so if you want to join Ian in the, in the journey doing this, which yep. we would encourage you to, um, keep us updated on how you're doing. Post, uh, post it on Instagram, on 100%. Facebook, wherever, tag uh, TXG in it. Yep. You'll see us on just about every platform. So whatever you guys like to use, Definitely. tag us in your photos mm -hmm. and you know, you can take a picture of your, your swing speed update and mm -hmm. show us doing your drills and stuff. So try to make kind of a little team effort. Yeah, exactly. Get and a community of guys these that are doing it. Yeah, that, yeah these things fun. are always good to support each other and see different things that are working uh, out for you. I mean, yeah. honestly, there's, there, there is no downside to doing it. No, there's no there way really you're going gonna to have a detriment to your swing in any no, way. Definitely. No, definitely. Training both sides of your body, mm -hmm. uh, which is what these protocols do. You go on the website to find the yes. protocols. You know, if you go back to our original uh, video we talked a lot about that yeah. talked at length about you demonstrated everything too. some of the yeah, and we, we had mark doing his stuff didn't we and uh, mm -hmm. you know we we showed a bunch of the different drills so um, that's that's what we'll do and we'll keep updating it through the weeks yeah uh, and uh, hopefully in 12 weeks time we'll have a hopefully. few more yards in the back pocket and it's superspeedgolf.com superspeedgolf.com find out more about it there's a bunch of videos that are really useful uh, yeah. they really are um, most most kind of uh, either golf clubs or places like this are actually selling it now. We are right. a retailer for it. So, you know, if you're in the GTA and you, you, you can't sort of find out where to get it, you, you can, can get actually get them from TXG. Um, so but so many tour players are using them. Like you see pictures tons. every week. There's tons of guys using them. So it's not, yeah. I don't think it's, uh, you know, it's not an underground sort of training aid. I think it's received a lot of recognition, a lot of validity that, yeah. to the point where I would trust it as a good, you know, a good method. I first saw this in 2015. I, really? was, I was with a guy in uh, mm. Dubai who had it, uh, and he, he was the first person I saw it, and he told me about the gains that he'd got wow. about it. Then it kind of really started to come to, to prominence. I think this year was a big year for, for Super Speed Golf when Mickelson put it in the yes. bag. He started talking about how the resurgence in his game and speed mm -hmm. through Super Speed Golf. Now you look at it, I mean, they have 350 registered tour professionals that, that use it. Um, a little cheeky picture surfaced this week of, uh, of a Mr. Tiger Woods Which is uh, crazy. swinging it. Yeah. I, I'm not sure he's on it uh, on the program, but I know he was he was kind of having a waggle one of the other competitors. Who knows? He might be on it. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, who knows? But there's, as I said, there's no there's no real downside to it. If it's good enough for the best players in the world, that's that's good enough for you and I. So. Awesome. Yeah, Excellent. I look forward to seeing yeah. how it goes. Oh, this will be fun. Uh, different kind of little experiment. Um, unfortunately, by the time we finish in the middle of November, it's going to be the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. well, you'll, we'll probably <laughs> we'll go down fine. south a little bit. You'll yeah, get well, to use your new driver distance. Exactly, exactly. We'll see it somewhere. It'll be good fun. <laughs> Excellent. Guys, uh, leave your comments mm. below. Um, you know, as many of you as possible, we would encourage to join us on this. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's keep things going. Let's keep it updated. <laughs>